What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE King and Queen of the Ring 2024 predictions video. The event takes place this Saturday in Saudi Arabia so it will have an earlier start time which is great for the likes of me here in the UK. However, I won't be watching it live as I am unfortunately away this weekend. Guys, this video is being recorded after the Go Home Raw, but before the Go Home Smackdown. So as always, if there is anything added, I will leave it in the description down below. We do have some like finals matches that don't quite like aren't set in stone yet at the time of this video. So like I believe it's the, the men's final. We got either Randy Orton or Tamatonga and the women. I believe it's either Bianca Belair or Nia Jax. Those aren't set in stone. So I'll give you my prediction for those as well. Without further ado, guys, Guys, let's get right into match number one. Kicking off the show, we have the finals of the Queen of the Ring tournament. I don't believe it's called Queen's Crown this time round. The Queen of the Ring tournament finals. Lyra Valkyria, who just picked up a massive victory over EO Sky on Raw, taking on either Bianca Belair or Nia Jax. I'm predicting Nia Jax to beat Bianca and then go on to beat Lyra Valkyria to become the Queen of the Ring. Nia Jax to take home the crown. Moving swiftly on to the finals of the King of the Ring tournament, we have got Gunther taking on either Randy Orton or Tama Tonga. Now, when this tournament began, I predicted the finals would be Gunther and Randy Orton. I am sticking with that prediction. Gunther to beat Randy Orton and become King of the Ring. Women's World Championship is on the line now as Becky Lynch defends her title against Liv Morgan. Now, there's been some really weird stuff going on with this storyline as of late. Is Liv a heel? Is she not a heel? I know she punched Lyra out of nowhere last night on Raw. I don't really know what's going on with this one, to be perfectly honest. I have Maybe that's on me and I haven't been quite paying enough attention. I don't know. Either way, screw it. Why not? I'm going to predict Liv Morgan to take the championship from Becky Lynch. Out there prediction, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Speaking of taking championships, we've got the WWE Intercontinental Championship Triple Threat Match. Sami Zayn defending the title against Big Bronson Reed and the newly heel Chad Gable. When is WWE going to pull the trigger on Gable as the Intercontinental Champion? They have had so many opportunities. It needs to happen. He's got heat. He's getting the You Suck chance now. The Angle-esque You Suck chance on the crowd. We saw him interact with the Creed Brothers. This is perfect. Strap him. Chad Gable to beat Sami Zayn, beat Bronson Reed, and finally, finally win a singles championship in WWE. Chad Gable for IC Champion. And that brings us to the main event of the show, what was meant to be a double championship, champion versus champion, all belts on the line match. The undisputed WWE champion Cody Rhodes, the United States champion Logan Paul, winner take all, not happening. They cancelled it last week on SmackDown. Instead, it is just for the undisputed WWE championship, which means 100%, well, it was already 100%, Cody Rhodes is beating Logan Paul to take the championship. Now, I've seen a lot of uh, people talking a load of nonsense on social media about how Cody's championship reign is boring and predictable. And, blah, 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 blah. and I get it to a certain extent because obviously AJ wasn't winning at Backlash. Obviously, Logan isn't winning here. But guys, you have to get a few solid reigns, uh, a few solid defenses, sorry, under your belt until you can start building up to the people that could take the championship. It's good for business, it's Logan Paul, it's Saudi Arabia, does it matter that much? No, not really. At the end of the day, we should still be getting a good match. And that is all we need to look forward to. Cody Rhodes to beat Logan Paul and retain the undisputed WWE Championship. But there you go, guys. That was my WWE King and Queen of the Ring 2024 predictions video. Let me know your predictions in the comments section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.